Introduction Hi friends, as we all know that we can see so many things in our surroundings. They are made up of different materials. Some of them are hard in nature and are called metals, while most of them are soft and so they are called non-metals. So in this module, we are going to learn about properties and uses of metals and non-metals. Objectives Friends, at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to define metals and non-metals. You will also be able to understand the physical properties of metals and non-metals. Besides it, you will be able to describe chemical properties of metals and non-metals. Hey buddy, place, what are you doing here? I am flying a kite. It is too light in weight. Yes, dear. Because it is made up of paper. And do you know that paper is a non-metal item? See there, an aeroplane is also flying high in the sky. It is made up of steel and other metals. But what are these metals and non-metals? Dear, right. now let's know about their properties. At first we know about the physical properties. The first property of metal is its malleability by this property the metals can be beaten into thin sheets non-metals don't show this property next property is conduction of heat metals are good conductors of heat and electricity while non-metals are poor conductors the property of metal by which it can be drawn into wires is called ductility it is the third property of metals Non-metals don't show ductility. Now let's talk about another property of metals, that is, sonorous. Metals produce ringing sounds when they struck, so are said to be sonorous. The material so friends, by these properties we can say that metals are hard, lustrous, malleable, ductile, sonorous, and good conductors of heat and electricity. Iron Copper, aluminium, calcium, magnesium, etc. are the examples of metals. Non-metals like coal and sulphur are soft, dull, non-ductile, non-sonorous, non-malleable and poor conductors of heat and electricity. Sulphur, carbon, oxygen. Friends, after discussing about physical properties of metals and non-metals, Let's know about their chemical properties. Metals like iron, copper, magnesium, etc. react with water and make their oxides. These oxides are basic in nature. Now we talk about the non-metals. Sulfur reacts with oxygen, giving the sulfur dioxide gas. Oxides of non-metals are acidic in nature. Another chemical property of metals is reaction with water. Most metals react with water vigorously or slowly. Sodium is stored in kerosene oil due to its highly reactive nature with air. Non-metals do not react with water. Phosphorus highly reacts with atmospheric oxygen, so it is stored in water. Now let's know about the reaction of metals and non-metals with acids. Metals react with acids and produce hydrogen gas while non-metals don't react Friends, with you'll be surprised to know that like acids, metals also react with bases and produces hydrogen gas. Non-metals react with bases complexly. Besides these chemical reactions, metals also show the property of displacement reactions. We can see a displacement reaction here in which one metal is displaying another metal from its compound. Dear, till now we have learned that what the physical and chemical properties of metals and non-metals are. Now let's move on another important topic, that is, what are the uses of these metals and non-metals? As we know that metals are hard in nature, so they are used in making machinery, automobiles, aeroplanes, trains, satellites, industrial gadgets, cooking utensils, water boilers, etc. 
non metals are not so hard so they are used in fertilizers water purification process life supporting air crackers and purple summary let us summarize what we have learned metals are hard lustrous and malleable in nature metals are ductile sonorous and good conductors of heat and electricity iron copper aluminium calcium magnesium etc are the examples of metals non metals are soft dull and non ductile in nature non metals are non sonorous non malleable and poor conductors of heat and electricity metals Sulfur. react with oxygen to produce metal oxides which are basic in nature non metals react with oxygen to produce non metallic oxides which are acidic in nature some metals react with water to produce metal hydroxides and hydrogen gas while non metals do not react with water metals react with acids and produce metal salts and hydrogen gas generally non metals do not react with acids in displacement reaction more reactive metals displace less reactive metals from their compounds in aqueous solutions Met